<laughs> Welcome, everybody. Uh, my name is Bob Van Asten. I'm the president and CEO of First State Bank. Uh, we're very happy today to host uh, today a joint news conference uh, to uh, share some very exciting news, uh, not only about First State Bank, but also about our whole community. Uh, joining me here today is uh, Jeannie Schleiss. Jeannie is the president and um, uh, of the New London Public Library and Museum mm -hmm. um, Board. Mm -hmm. um, next to uh, Jeannie is Ann Hunt, director of the uh, New London Public Library. Um, we have Mayor Mark Herter uh, from the City of New London and Christine Cross, director of the New London Public Museum. So welcome everybody. New London uh, has been First State Bank's home since 1933 and a lot has changed uh, in banking in our organization over the years, but our commitment to the community uh, has never wavered. New London, um, we are very proud to renew this commitment uh, with the announcement of a new First State Bank corporate headquarters uh, located uh, in New London's downtown. Our new office will encompass the area of First State Bank's drive up um, uh, and green space along Wapaka Street. Uh, it will combine our lobby, drive up, and local operations into one facility. Construction will begin uh, this summer and we're anticipating moving into the new location uh, in spring uh, of 2023. With this move, our board of directors was adamant uh, that this large building that we are in here today uh, would not sit vacant. Uh, they envisioned this iconic uh, building uh, in New London's downtown to serve a much greater purpose uh, for our community. That is why I am delighted to announce today uh, we are donating this building to the New London Public Library. Today's libraries are not just... Yeah. Today's libraries are not just a place for books. They are a resource center for the whole community uh, to gather and learn. We are excited to propel, help propel this vision for the library forward uh, and make it um, a cornerstone to New London's downtown. To speak on behalf of the library, uh, I'm pleased to introduce uh, Jeannie Schleiss, uh, the president of the New London Public Library and Museum. Thank you, Bob, and wow, thank you, First State Bank, and all those who brainstormed and got this decision to offer the library and museum board this building, beautiful building. When the, with the bank's donation, the library will shift from its plan to build a separate annex, along with maintaining the current library building that was our plan we're going to shift to redeveloping the two floors here of the bank into the library's future home i'm happy to announce also that the board the library museum board just last night formally approved this donation of this donation and accepted it this significantly larger 26,000 square foot facility makes it possible for all current library services and the new community spaces that were envisioned as part of the annex to come together downtown under one roof. These community spaces are a teen center, a community, I'm sorry, computer lab, STEM and fab labs, a large community room with a kitchen, music and video studios, and small study rooms. The library's architect, Keller, has done a thorough evaluation of the bank building and is now designing plans that transform the bank to fill the library's vision of a community resource center. Work will begin in spring of 2023 after the bank has moved into its new office and is expected to take four to six months. The hope is that the library will be opened by the end of 2023. In addition, the board is extremely pleased to announce that with the library's move, the New London Public Museum will have the opportunity to expand from its lower level location in the current library museum building 
to the main level and eventually utilize the entire building at 406 South Pearl Street. While we all hope that the museum would play a more prominent role in our community someday, none of us would have dreamed that this could have happened in the next couple of years. The ripple effect of a gift like the one made to the library from First State Bank is just amazing. And thank you. Thank you, Jenny. Mm -hmm. At this time, I'd like to uh, bring up uh, Mayor Mark Herter to say a few words. Good morning, everybody. Thank you, Bob. Today is a very special day for our city. As mayor of the city of New London, I am excited to have the opportunity to say thank you to First State Bank for choosing to build its new facility in New London's downtown and for this generous, generous donation to the New London Public Library and gift to the entire community. New London continues to grow with that. The needs and demands of the community continue to grow with it. The New London Public Library and Museum Board has also recognized these needs. The board has spent endless hours in trying to create more programming space as they continue to grow and meet the needs of our community. First State Bank's donation to the New London Public Library provides us with great opportunity for, for our unique and growing community. It will keep this beautiful building thriving with a new purpose and allow the library to expand its services in the heart of our downtown. These developments also create an opportunity for the museum to expand its exhibits and programming, contributing in more meaningful ways to tourism and economic development within New London area. Lastly, I would like to thank the New London Library and Museum Board, Library Director Ann Hunt, Museum Director Christine Cross, and the many donors, individual, businesses, and organizations who have also contributed to the library project's success. As a community leader, I am very excited that together we are making a difference in our community and creating an address for our future. Thank you all for coming. Thank you, Mayor Mark. Thank you again, Jenny, for those, for those comments. This donation by First State Bank will help enhance our community and downtown for future generations. And we are proud to help make this happen. I'd like to again thank the various committees and boards uh, for their hard work to move this project forward and their commitment to the community. At this time, uh, I would open it up for any questions for myself, uh, Jenny, Mayor Mark, as well as uh, uh, Ann Hunt and uh, Christine Cross. Any questions that anybody has? I'm sure people are kind of wondering how this will affect their day-to-day -day banking. Can you, can you talk about that, how the drive-through ATM, that kind of thing might be affected? Sure. So we, we are continually working with Keller, who's our general contractor also, to make sure that we can keep the drive-through um, open, uh, as with the ATM uh, in that particular location. So more to come on that as we, as we move forward. So, yeah. The main bank here will continue to be open um, for lobby traffic also. Questions for the library. I don't know if right. Jenny or Anne yeah. would like to take. Um, yeah. The first question, I guess, can you talk a little bit about how the expansion will be funded? Um, the library uh, created a fundraising committee a number of years ago, and we had been working very diligently to raise funds for the annex. Now those funds, um, since we're abandoning the annex and bringing them here, um, they will be a major portion of the funding that is needed for here. Um, also, the City of New London have um, uh, committed funds um, for the annex, which will come here. We are still fundraising. We are not quite at our goal yet. Um, the annex was a 10,000 square foot building that was brand new. This is a 26,000 square foot building that needs to be totally renovated. Um, into a library and its spaces. So um, we're still funding, we're still fundraising, and um, that's the, how where the funding's coming from. Generous donors, yeah. 
last question I have. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about the current building? What will take place there when you move from that building to here? Right. Um, well, um, eventually, as plans get made, the museum hopefully will be moving upstairs and it will become the New London Public Museum, which is amazing because um, the library is a original Carnegie Library from the early 1900s. So it's a perfect place to have a museum um, emphasizing that historic thing also in our, our um, collections. So um, there will be, you know, plans. We've had plans uh, in the past drawn up, but we will, they will slowly work forward to implementing them as they can raise money and um, we get the plans going. Any other questions for the Library and Museum? Thank you. Any other questions from anybody? If not, I want to thank everybody for coming today and uh, have a great day. Thank you very much.